Hey, it's day 11 for me on the Camino de Santiago and I'm um, just outside my albergue in uh, Camino, no, not Camino, uh, Espinosa del Camino. It's a small town where I stayed last night. And uh, my friend who I've been hiking on and off with, Yuha, over the last several days, he's already long gone, probably 20 minutes gone. It's 5.45 and I'm just getting ready now to start off. And uh, the next two days, the long-term plan is I'm 40 kilometers from Borgos where I intend, that's the largest city where I intend to spend an extra day off the Camino for my first rest day. That would be like day, say, 11, like day 13. So, uh, there's no point in, uh, in pushing it because I'm not doing a 40 kilometer day into Borgos. That would be like 25 miles. I'm just not going to do it. So, um, we're going to divide it in half or I'm going to divide it in half thinking out the Puerca today, but that's written in jello. That could change. And then uh, it would be roughly another 20 kilometers the next day. Most of the people that I've met on uh, along the way that I've become uh, connected to in the way of having fun and c getting to know a little bit, most of them are in Belorado, about eight kilometers behind me. But uh, there'll probably be a big reunion either tonight and out to Puerco or certainly in Burgos the next day. But well, let's see what all actually happens. Minutes on the way, and I come uh, to the town of Villafranca. And, um,. I have to check, but I believe after this I have a bit of a mountain, or maybe it's just a hill, I'm not really sure. I just remember it was an up, uphill coming. So, probably no town until I come down over that. Then I probably have to pay a penalty for leaving early in that. I'm guessing I won't find a cafe open, but I could be wrong. Let's see. This is actually my elevation chart for today. You might see there Villa Franca Monte de Oca. And then I'm going over here to at the Puerco, so as you see, I got the climb coming up here out of this village. Then the rest of it looks fairly basic and simple. Up and over the uh, hill there, and down part of it on the backside, and I don't think I have much more in the way of elevation change the rest of this hike. I can't tell if the sun is risen because I'm got trees and all behind me. You can't tell. Certainly, well after first light. Moving on, looking for uh, the next town and hopefully a cafe where I can grab some breakfast. All right, so I was asking that guy back there about his cart. I didn't want to get too intrusive and fill him up close, but he said, "Yeah, much easier on the roads and most of the Camino." But we were we're going over a bit of a mountain today, so he said, "Not so easy today." All right, 7.45. I've been at it two hours now on day 11. Not a whole lot of, to see here, just um, up on top at a higher elevation than what we've been uh, recently and tree lines on both sides. The Camino here is super wide. Well, somebody's taking the time out of their busy day to make a boing Camino sign out of the rock. Very sudden change in the vegetation on the side of the trail. All these large pine trees. It looks like somebody has spent a considerable amount of time here building like a little rest area. Looks like they're calling it El Oasis del Camino. Let's take a few pics around here and uh, see what it looks like. All right, finally coming out of the forest, which lined the Camino on both sides since the sun uh, came up enough for me to even see. And uh, I've been missing my views, but they're back. All right, just coming into the town of San Juan de Ortega. All right, you want to run with the bulls? These dudes are waiting for you right there. Where is your coming into San Juan de Ortega? Yep, he's talking to you. All right, looks like my breakfast is just ahead and has as has become a pattern now. Yuha leaves earlier than me and I catch him at the first cafe where he's already there eating. Stopping for breakfast at the cafe. I got a tortilla with chicken and cheese 
and some other little stuff in it. it looks like some red pepper, cafe con leche. Cost four euro fifty. So that's it for breakfast today. All right, just continuing out of the cafe now from San Juan de Ortega. <laughs> I'm intending to stop in only seven kilometers at, at the Puerco. Let's see what we see on the way out of town. Mountain, um, look right here. You see the sign with the X to it that says Aguas Sin uh, Garantias Sanitarias. Seeing without a guarantee of sanitation, so you don't want to put that in your bottles if you see that. the cafe as you're leaving San Juan de Ortega and this isn't always the case but sometimes um, these cafes you'll see like the one I just left will be like a breakfast place and they close at 2 in the afternoon then the other cafe might open at noon and go into the evening as more of a, a night or a bar atmosphere. The half kilometer after you get out of San Juan de Ortega you have an option here you can go down this road here which would be the alternative we're going to the forest here, and you can see the different towns you would see depending on which way you go. My app, the Wise Pilgrim, which is what I'm using, highly um, recommends going into the forest and going that route. And I'm planning to stop it at the Puerca. So if I went left, I couldn't stop there. The, the, the path wouldn't go there. So off I go into the woods. You might notice that the weather has cleared. It's still chilly and it's a bit breezy, but right now I'm in the forest, so I can see the treetops floating around, but not much wind where I'm at. And it's a bit brisk, but it's comfortable when you're walking. If I was just sitting in a cafe, probably a little chilly, I'd need a jacket for sure. But the forecast is it for the warm up to, into the mid, mid to high 70s this afternoon, that would be nice. Alright, this view is off my right, as I'm really descending now off of what I think will be the last good hills or mountains until I get to Burgos and then shortly thereafter I'll be on the Meseta, which is a long flat section of the Camino, like walking in the plains. I'm going to point this out, I'm coming up to like a gate, only it's nothing I have to open. And the way they do it is... They put these things here. I think that keeps the cattle from crossing, but obviously people can step across there. So this is a beautiful view of this valley and this next town I'm walking down into. Uh, the name is uh, very similar to A-E-G-E-S. I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce it because I'll just blow it. And then I can see the next town off in the distance over there. Once again, beautiful, beautiful views and a beautiful day. So here we go, entering to the uh, gates. From up above, this appeared to be a small town. Not a one horse town, but a small town. One of the houses on your right, right as you're walking into town. Beautiful. There's a cafe on your left, just after you enter town, and I can see another one up the alley, also maybe another 100 meters. None of the pilgrims are here, and I did just stop a short time ago for breakfast. So, I'm going to continue on. Quick point of note. And uh, I didn't see any albergues in that town, and my Wise Pilgrim app didn't indicate that there were any. So, one words to um, Atapuerca. It is about a two to three uh, kilometer road walk into uh, Alte Puercas. Or the, I'm assuming that's the next town ahead. It's pretty. The cars do come flying on this road, but there's not that many. I think two or three have passed, is it? Sure you uh, 
yield to the uh, bulls crossing the road as you enter the town here. This is just off the side of uh, the Camino in the field. And that's what it says if you can read Spanish. So entering town now. My plan is find a cafe where I can order a cold beer and sit down and uh, go through my app with their Wi-Fi and uh, look at the comments on what albergues are in this town and which one I want to try to get into. It's still fairly early. Hey, I'm sitting at a cafe. I was sitting with some friends, but they all have decided to move on today. But since I'm staying uh, in Borgos tomorrow, it's a 20 kilometer hike to here and it'll be an additional 20 kilometers tomorrow. So it didn't make sense to go farther unless I was gonna go the whole way today. And there's no way I was doing 40K. So today's hike, I started at 545. I got here at 11. See, so that would be um, five hours and 15 minutes. And I took my time. Uh, I definitely hiked slower today. Um, the weather has turned for the better. It is beautiful out here. It's nice and warm. If I had to guess, it's probably 70 degrees. Um, I think some of my friends, if they put in a 28K day from Belorado today, which is not uh, unseemly, they might uh, be joining me. Some of the ones I haven't seen for a couple days. So we'll see. And that's assuming that I'm able to even get a room at the albergue. Uh, there's a couple of them in this town. Um, it doesn't open until 1, and like I said, I just got here at 11. It's about 11.15 now. So uh, we'll see how that works out. Today's hike was uh, that time I just gave you and 20 kilometers, which is about 12, 12 and a half miles. And I uh, should have about the same distance tomorrow into Borgos. And uh, now I'm going to start looking for a hotel on uh, booking.com for two nights in Borgos. I'm at the Al Albergue, but they don't take reservations, I've been told. So I think I'm in the queue at about, about number seven. So I probably will get a place here. I hope so. I've already taken my boots off. And um, the place looks nice from the outside. And you put your poles right there. Your boots go inside the, the shed there. And like I said, they haven't even opened yet. But look at the outside area they have here. It's quite nice on a nice day like today to sit out here in the sun. And everybody's waiting for them to open so that we can check in. So if you've been watching my videos, you know that first thing I do is film the room before everybody starts getting their stuff in here and getting undressed and it gets too personal. This room has two bunk beds on the left. Single bed, single bed. And then I took one right by the door, single bed. I really like it because each bed has its own outlet you'll notice there are lockers my backpack won't fit in there but uh anyway that's the actual room where you sleep little hallway here they have showers of course and and uh they have a washer and dryer here men's room and um showers so the outside uh, i think i already showed you and um it's the first albergue on the right as you're entering at the puerca it's, it's actually quite nice Hey, so um, I can't remember where I left you. My phone's been charging for the last three hours while I've been down at the uh, cantina making sure the, uh, doing quality control on the wine supply. So uh, the sun's starting to uh, get a little lower where you get those good pictures. And I'm gonna walk you around uh, at the Puerca, take a few shots, and that's probably where I'll leave it for today. This is in an alley just off the main street. This is a private residence, but I just thought this was beautiful. I have the wrong lighting for it, but it's really pretty. This is from the church, which is Seems to be the highest spot in the town. Just an overview of the town. All right, still the evening of day 11. And I'm going to eat at this restaurant. It's just across the street from the albergue because the albergue doesn't offer a meal at this uh, place in the Puerca. Anyway, the restaurant's called Como Sapiens. They don't open until 7.30 and they close at 9.30. So it's a short lift thing.
guys, here's my review on dinner. It was a Prix Fix menu. You could pick from one or three um, of the appetizers I showed you on the menu. And then you could also pick the, the secondary, yes, which is your main entree. And then you could pick one or three desserts. It also, dinner came with bread. And um, it also came with a quarter liter of uh, wine for each uh, person that ordered dinner. So um, 15, 50 euros, let's call that 16, 50, 17 bucks US. And you don't really have to tip here. Or you just leave me like a little bit. So um, not even uh, five or 10% at most. So I ordered the, uh, the uh, ensalada, uh, the goat cheese salad, and that was excellent. And or sort of the corn asada, which was the roasted pork loin, and that was okay. I mean, it wasn't great, but it was nothing wrong with it. It was just okay. And then the dessert, I got the um, the creme de rice with uh, leche, which was excellent. I thought that was really good. Uh, bread was good, wine was good. So overall, I'd call it a success. I would recommend the restaurant. Um, the roasted pork loin, like I said, was just okay. So guys, this is gonna be a wrap for day 11. Tomorrow is day 12, we go into the big city. As you can see, the sun's setting behind me. I'll try to uh, leave you with a few pictures that I took out the Puerca today of some pretty neat houses and an old church.